Would you want to be immortal? The dream of immortality has captivated humanity for centuries. But what if we are on the brink of a technology that could freeze us and bring us back to life in the future? What if artificial intelligence and cryonics could open the door to eternity? Can we defy death and hold on to life for centuries? Or is this just another illusion that mankind has chased throughout history? In this documentary, we'll dive into the world of cryonics and artificial intelligence to understand what the future might hold for humanity. We'll explore how cryonics works, the challenges of freezing and reviving human bodies, and how AI could play a crucial role in this process. We'll also discuss the scientific, philosophical, and ethical questions surrounding immortality, what it really means, whether it's worth pursuing, and what might happen if these technologies continue to evolve. The most intriguing part, however, comes at the end, but we'll take it step by step. Stay with us to discover if cryonics and AI could really be your ticket to immortality. At its core, cryonics is the process of freezing a body after death, with the hope that future technology will one day allow it to be revived. But how does cryogenic freezing actually work? The idea is simple. Freeze the body at extremely low temperatures to stop all biological activity. However, the real challenge is preventing cellular damage caused by the freezing process itself. When water inside cells freezes, it expands, and this expansion can rupture the cell walls, leading to irreversible damage. To overcome this, scientists use a process called vitrification, which turns the body's fluids into a glass-like state instead of allowing them to form damaging ice crystals. While today we can freeze individual organs and cells with great success, Freezing an entire body presents significant hurdles. The first cryopreservation of a human body took place in the 1960s, and the first successful cryopreservation of an animal was done even earlier, in the 1950s. Yet, despite decades of experimentation, full-body cryonics remains an unproven, controversial practice, with no confirmed cases of revival after being frozen. It's a fascinating field, one that mixes science, hope, and the dream of immortality. But the big question remains, can technology ever advance enough to bring the frozen back to life? While the idea of freezing a human body and bringing it back to life might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, the reality is far more complicated. The biggest challenge lies in the damage freezing does to our cells. When our body temperature drops, the water inside our cells freezes and expands, causing ice crystals to form. These crystals can puncture cell membranes, leading to irreversible damage. Organs and tissues are particularly vulnerable to this process. Right now, cryonics can only work on a small scale. For example, scientists have had success with freezing individual cells, sperm, eggs, and even small organs, using a technique called vitrification. Vitrification prevents ice crystals from forming by turning bodily fluids into a glass-like substance but this technology is far from perfect when it comes to whole bodies. Even though the technology exists to preserve organs for transplantation, it hasn't been possible to freeze and revive a whole human body. The current state of cryonics isn't able to prevent the massive amount of damage that happens during the freezing process, which means that even if we could thaw the body, the tissues would be too damaged to function properly. In short, freezing the body may one day become possible, but right now, it's more of a hopeful fantasy than a practical reality. Now, let's take a leap into the future. What if artificial intelligence could play a key role in bringing the frozen back to life? Imagine a world where AI not only helps to preserve bodies, but also assists in the process of revival. With advancements in AI, we could create incredibly sophisticated systems capable of repairing the cellular and molecular damage caused by the freezing process. AI could potentially be used to analyze and repair damaged tissues, guide the process of rewarming, and monitor the body's health during revival. For example, AI could simulate and predict how the body would react to rewarming at a cellular level, allowing scientists to fine-tune the process and minimize harm. It could also assist in mapping out the brain's neural pathways, helping to reconstruct lost memories or cognitive functions. While this might sound like pure science fiction, AI is already being used in medicine today, helping doctors with everything from diagnosing diseases to creating personalized treatment plans. 
In the future, AI could be the tool that bridges the gap between the frozen and the living. However, we're still far from this reality. AI's potential to resurrect a human being relies heavily on both advancements in cryonics and an understanding of consciousness and brain function that we have yet to fully grasp. Will AI unlock the key to immortality? Or is it just another dream of science fiction? While the dream of freezing and reviving the human body may still seem like a distant fantasy, there are some real-world examples today where cryonics and artificial intelligence are already making waves. Let's start with cryonics. Companies like Alcor and the Cryonics Institute have been offering cryopreservation services for decades. While no human has been successfully revived from cryonics yet, these organizations continue to refine their methods, freezing bodies with the hope that one day technology will catch up. To date, only a small number of people have been cryopreserved, but the idea remains a point of fascination and controversy. They're freezing not just the bodies, but also the brains, in the hope that future medical advances can cure whatever caused death. On the AI side, we already see its impact in medicine. AI is being used for everything, from diagnosing diseases to creating personalized treatment plans. In fact, deep learning algorithms are making significant strides in areas like brain mapping, a crucial step for any potential resurrection efforts. AI is also used in cryobiology, analyzing how freezing and thawing affect cells, and even improving methods to protect them during the freezing process. These advancements, while still in their early stages, lay the groundwork for the future of cryonics. In the realm of research, AI is being used to simulate and predict the effects of freezing and rewarming on the human body, helping scientists understand what's happening at a cellular and molecular level. This is a critical step in making cryonics more viable. While there's still a long way to go, these early applications of AI are showing us that the future of cryonics and artificial intelligence could be intertwined in ways we never imagined. So, is the idea of freezing ourselves for future revival a glimpse into the future, or just another utopian fantasy? While the science behind cryonics and AI holds incredible potential, we must face the harsh reality that we're still far from achieving immortality. The concept of resurrection through cryonics raises some fundamental questions. Is it even possible to revive someone after they've been frozen for decades or even centuries? Would our consciousness survive the freezing and thawing process, or would it be lost forever? These are questions science has yet to answer, and perhaps may never be able to. But the pursuit of this technology is not just about the dream of living forever. It's about pushing the boundaries of what we understand about life, death, and the very nature of existence. Prionics may one day lead to breakthroughs in medicine, artificial intelligence, and regenerative therapies even if it doesn't immediately result in bringing the dead back to life. For now, it's a speculative concept like many ideas before it, from flying cars to space colonization. Will it become reality or remain a futuristic dream? Only time will tell. As we venture further into the realm of cryonics and artificial intelligence, we are forced to confront a host of ethical and philosophical questions. If we could truly freeze and revive ourselves, should we? What does it mean for our understanding of life, death, and identity? Could a revived person truly be the same? Or would they be fundamentally different, even if their memories and consciousness were preserved? And then, there's the issue of consent. If a person is cryopreserved, who gets to decide when to bring them back? And if they're revived into a future world, how would they adapt to a reality that is radically different from the one they left behind? These questions raise profound dilemmas about autonomy, the value of life, and the ethics of playing God. But perhaps the most pressing question is, would immortality be desirable at all? If death is part of what makes life meaningful, could a world where no one ever dies be one we want to live in? Ultimately, cryonics is more than just a scientific endeavor. It's a reflection of our deepest dreams and fears. It represents our longing to conquer death and control time but it also forces us to confront the idea that perhaps we cannot escape our mortality. While the pursuit of immortality through cryonics and AI is exciting, it also highlights the profound uncertainty and limitations of human existence. For now, cryonics remains a beautiful yet unreachable dream. But just like any great dream, 
It drives us to question what it means to be alive, to be human, and to one day face the inevitable end. As we reach for immortality, we might just find that the journey itself is more important than the destination. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on more thought-provoking content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you liked what you saw, hit that thanks button, drop a like, or share your thoughts in the comments. Your support helps us bring more videos to life.